Hello there, welcome to Just Draft Studio. In this tutorial video, I'm going to teach you on how you can steal or copy the color grading effect from another photo into another one. So for this tutorial, I'm going to copy the texture or the effect from this photo, as I called it as reference to this photo, which is the before and the result will be this after. Also, I'm going to link the images on this uh, tutorial on the description so you can practice this also. Without further ado, let's start it. So drag the image, the reference image, into our uh, Photoshop workspace. So I'm going to drag this referen reference image. To make sure you uh, hover it there and drop. And it will create a new workspace and also let's uh, drag the other one the before just the image that we're going to change the color press ctrl 0 to fit on the screen also this ctrl 0 to fit on the screen now i'm going to make a, or save the color of this image so that i can use it later for the other one so go to under file uh, look for the export under export save for web then click then under the save for web you can see the color is selected with a 256 by default colors but we just wanted uh, three colors so press three or you can type three so it select uh, three colors that I'm going to use to apply it into the another photo. Then go to this side and click it. Save color table. Click. Then we are going to save it. Then I'm going to call it uh, reference color. Then save it. Then click done and we are going to the another image and apply that color effect by going to this area and we will add a gradient map click that this icon and click the gradient map then once you done that go to now we are going to apply the, the color tables by going to windows window under window select or click the swatches now it shows the swatches I'm just going to drag it down here okay then click this uh, icon then we are going to replace it with the with the color table that we saved now I'm here in my file directory but I cannot see my color table in order to do that in order to see the color table you should change this extension file into color table that act act then you can see the color the one that we saved now then click and load now it shows the three colors now in order to apply this color into this curve we have to click this gradient map Make sure we select this one. Let me close that. You can double click and select this one and click this area. Now, click this anchor point, double click it. And once you double click it, it will show this uh, color picker. Now we are going to pick this. Once it shows, it will change the cursor. Once we hover it here to a color picker icon so select this one now it changed the color of the image and so after that we are going to copy the brightness copy right click copy and press ok and the number of the brightness paste it in the location tab paste now it uh, reposition the anchor into that area now we are going to choose the another color double click this anchor then pick 
on this color copy the brightness level press ok and paste it the, to the location paste now it relocates the anchor to that area as you can see the picture somehow it uh, now it looks good now the last color we are going to to apply but since we have only two anchor points in order to add another anchor point you click on this or any area but for this i'm going to click on this area then it will create a new anchor point then we double click on the box and go to this and pick click on this uh, color copy the brightness level and press ok then paste the color br uh, brightness into this location then press ok once you've done that then so as as long as this uh, layer is selected click on this area which is normal and change it to soft light as you can see the image change you can see the before this was the before and this is the after now so we can close this close We'll just move this to this. Now the next part is we are going to copy the the texture of the skin or the the the, the highlights, the mid tones, and the darkness of this photo, and apply to this. So let's do that. In order to do that, we have to uh, take a sample. First, I'm going to make a layer. Click this then it will create new layer now I'm going to make a sample by clicking this eyedrop eyedropper tool <clears throat> to sample a color and make sure you change this point sample into 3 by 3 average oh, uh, current and below select the current and below then let's zoom this image to take a sample then what once you selected that setup setup go to click the brush tool by or shortcut B but for this I'm just going to click I'm just pressing control minus and control plus to zoom it in and out control now I'm going to rename this layer by double clicking it into color sample because I'm going to paste the sample color there press enter now I'm going to click the lightest part here in order since my brush tool is active activated press alt then click on that and it will create a sample and I can I, I need to make the brush bigger by pressing the closing bracket And, and brush it here my brush is not solid so I'm going to make it solid press ctrl Z to cancel right click or you can go to the brush property here once your brush is selected hardness we will make the hardness into 100 then brush it here okay so we have a sample of the highlighted or the lighter part of the image of the face of the girl. Now we are going to take the mid-tones. In order to do that, we have to press Alt. and I'll choose this as a mid-tone and brush it here. So this is my mid-tone. And select the darkest part which is the block here so I'm going to select this press alt then click left click alt press left click then brush it here now I have the three samples I, I need control zero to fit on the screen now we have to drag this color sample to the another image in order to do that click this icon Make sure you check on the auto select 
and the auto transform so once you selected the image it auto transform and and it shows the the transformation so in order to so we're going to drag it there so we can sample it to the this girl now I'm going to make uh, curves and apply the effect drag this curve layer below the gradient map then I'm going once when you can click this make sure you select this not that the white so select this and do double click on this part then it will uh, pop up this color picker so in order to pick a color you go to the lighter color which is uh, make sure you select the all layers first and select this uh, lighter part uh, the lighter sample then press ok then click no because it's not the default okay then zoom the image and select the the lighter part of the image which is this one let me change it to this okay then zoom it out back then double click on this and pick on the mid tones and press ok click no then go to the mid tone the which is this area not the lighter part but the middle part of the darkest and the, the lighter part so select this and zoom it out it, you can choose whatever whatever you want let's say this one say this part this will be my mid tone and the darkest will be black so click this then we are going to select the darkest uh, sample by double clicking on this and click the black and press ok and click no and take a sample on this click this now it change let me zoom it out once it change since the image is somehow in uh, red intense we can drag this uh, area drag it there to make it more lighter then we can turn off this layer the color sample because we apply it already control zero to fit on the screen and you can add some effect here by selecting this layer and add uh, soft soft light or other effect say for this darker let's say soft light I think the darken is good you can group this uh, effect layer by selecting this and press shift and select the other one and press ctrl G to group it and we can see the before and after let me turn off this lay uh, group one so this was the before this is the after since the the effect is somehow intense I'm going to reduce the opacity into 50 say the this one also 50 I think that it's okay by 100 so I'll leave it 100 this was the reference and this is the after let me zoom in so now we copy the texture of the skin to this one now let's save this image and save as jpeg Call it after and make it the uh, maximum large file show file of 7 MB megabytes then press OK 
now we are going to see the difference this was the before and this is the after and this is the reference you can see there's some black there you can adjust by here by adding or adjusting this you can drop, drop down and adjust the intensity to somewhere lighter there and you can save it back by pressing ctrl shift s then press then select jpeg after yes replace maximum 6.9 ok press ok now we have to refresh this was the before and the after so that's it for this tutorial i hope this helps you don't forget to like and subscribe and thank you for watching